Hello Hoovians, Crispy Pro here, and yes, welcome back to yet another weekly video. Weekly, weekly, weekly. I'm on that, I'm on that weekly grind. No, I'm not, it's the opposite. There is no grinding involved. What? Anyway, I'm sorry again. I promised weekly videos and then delivered the, the, the exact opposite. That's pretty cool. Am I in frame? Is this frame working for me? I think it is. I've literally apologized so much this year for, um, lack of videos because there has been no goddamn Doctor Who news. <laughs> Where is... The news. Give me something. I am just so unbelievably bored. I just have no no drive at the moment. Like no, I got nothing motivating me, and it's it's really sad. Like obviously I've been rewatching Capaldi episodes because they are just my favorite, my 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 babies. But there's only three seasons and a handful of specials, and so you know when you watch those maybe twenty times, you know you you start to you start to you start to watch other things on the television. I've had to watch other things other than Doctor Who. I am of legal age to drink. I can't believe I've had to start watching other shows that are out there. I, I watched I watched this the other day. I watched this. I'm kidding, the Katy Perry movie is a work of art and you do not speak badly of it. So anyway, why is there no news whatsoever? I have two words for you, and that is Chris Chibnall. Yes, that's right. Our new showrunner is one of the most secretive people on planet planet. You see that? Pl pl One of the most secretive people on planet Earth. On planet Earth. Like it's it's ridiculous. I was in I was in the UK the other day and had a meeting at BBC Studios with uh, Jodie Whittaker, David Bradley, and uh, and Chris Chibnall. And I jokingly like asked them if they wanted to play a game of Truth or Dare. And Chris Chibnall simply left the room because he he he's got secrets. He don't want to tell nobody. Okay, I made that up, but it sounds believable. But yeah, Chris was the head writer of Broadchurch, um, a phenomenal show, um, another good show other than Doctor Who that exists, um, and that was one of the most um, under wraps shows I've ever seen. Because if spoilers get released for that, the entire like however I think it's eight episodes per season just get ruined like that. That like they're leading up for one moment, one reveal. Um, so that, that has to be under wraps. Like, when they were filming it, they had spy-style codes and drip-fed scripts. Damn. Now, is, is Doctor Who getting the same treatment as a Broadchurch at the moment? I, I don't know. Um, but it, it damn well feels like it. Let's actually have a look. Let's have a damn look if there's any actual Doctor Who news at the moment. 17 Doctor Who actors who reprise the same role over a decade later. That's that's the news, folks. That's, yeah. Jodie Whittaker and Bradley Walsh are awesome. Doctor Who. All right, Radio Times released something. This better be good. The pair are already proving they've got what it takes to make TV magic together. All right, let's listen to this one-minute video. Is this... Is it better be copyright-free? Is there any is there any actual substance here? Okay, no. The biggest headline at the moment is that the two main characters in the show now work well together. Yeah, no, there's there is literally nothing. She thought that was gonna be something, and this video was gonna be like a <gasps> wow, oh my god, there's a, there's a huge headline that's just released, but no, that's not how the universe works. Um, the universe owes you nothing. But in all seriousness, I am I am half grateful um, that there is no no news out there at the moment because. Doctor Who obviously is very dear to me and dear to a lot of you guys um, and we do not want it spoiled like can you imagine can you just imagine for a second if the John Sim reveal at the end of series 10 was kept under wraps and not used as a promotional tool my mind would have exploded whilst it may be tough for content creators such as myself and um, like, I don't know the, the who addicts or any other who who tubers out there um, that you know live off not live off I want the best viewing experience possible and I think that series 11 will deliver that so I am thankful for that I guess okay yeah so yeah what are your thoughts on the sheer lack of news lately um, do you think it's a good thing do you wish they'd you know release something like something a picture some writers um, let me know in the comments below and we can have a lovely conversation I can give you one of those like heart things you know like heart heart a doctor is a song I made back in 2014 and it's very cringe you should all check it out um yeah like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week
Surely I actually might make a video next week. I don't know. Uh, all my assessments done on June the 1st and I have like a long, long holiday. So after June 1st, I'm pretty sure weekly things will be a thing. Weekly things will be a thing. Weekly videos will be a thing. Anyway, I'm talking. I need to shut up. Um, yeah, see you soon. Allons-y.